Baby, be in love with your fantasies. I can be a star, make a sky so bright. Welcome to my dungeon. This is ecstasy. Let me play the fantasy. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we're, we're back, back like we, we never left. left. We appreciate y'all for tuning in and uh, pulling up for another pull-up session. Yeah. We're about to go ahead and dive right into this video. I really got to check this one out because they're actually doing interviews in the streets of Dallas, Texas. <laughs> hey, our hometown. And they're actually at Fuel City Taco, which is downtown Dallas. Oh, they got the best tacos. I just got to say yeah, that. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. And, and the reason why I want to check this one out is because it's America's calling out Biden's economy lies. So oh. I don't know. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I really want to check this out because especially everything that's going on with the economy, whenever there's something going on with, whenever, whenever somebody's talking about what's going on with the economy right now, I definitely want to tune into and home in and hone in on it. And uh, they're talking to people in the streets right now. Hey, so Dallas counts, okay? Hey. We count. <laughs> Dallas matters. Let's check it out. Come on. Yeah. All right, guys. The Biden administration has been telling us that America is in one of the best spots that it's been financially and economically. Oh, wait, huh? wait, 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 wait. What that America is... The fact is America is in a stronger economic position today than just about any other country in the world. This is from Biden. Independent experts have even projected that the U.S. economy could grow faster than China's economy this year. That hasn't happened since 1976. That was on June the 7th, 2022 from President Biden. So that's a tweet. From the White House. Yeah. A tweet? Yeah. I don't know. All right. I mean, if that's what they feel, that's what, that's what they feel. Okay. Is in one of the best spots that it's been financially and economically. Since it took office, okay. families are carrying less debt. A recent survey from the Federal Reserve found that more Americans feel financially comfortable than any time since the survey began in 2013. So we're going to go ask the average... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> let me just hey, say, I already got a problem with that. You know, hey, I'll, I'll let y'all let let drop a comment in regards to tell me how y'all feel about the economy growing stronger than China. Financially in, in comfortable? Year. He said everybody has less debt. Hey, y'all y'all let us know. Let me I don't tell know. you, because at this point, I, I feel like, y'all, I done got inspired to br grow my own food, okay? Because I don't want to go to the Okay? I'm, so I'm, like, I'm about ready to start uh, riding a bike at this point. We don't want to buy another car, y'all. We got one car. We're not buying a second car, y'all. No. Like, I'm just not doing that. I just feel like that's just, it's just not smart to do that right now. Not right now. <laughs> Sir, not right now. The Federal Reserve found that more Americans feel financially comfortable than any time since the survey began in 2013. So we're going to go ask the average American if what the Biden administration is reporting happening here in America actually lines up with what people think on the streets. Comfortable. Look at the gas prices. They ain't comfortable to me. Hey, <laughs> this, I, and, and like I said, we, somebody from Dallas. we are in Dallas, Texas. So, hey. Yo, look. <laughs> I want to hear from the mouth of people in the streets. Like I said, I, I feel like that's where you're going to get the, the best barometer. You, you're going to feel the real temperature of what's really going on in the nation when you when you, when you go out and talk to the everyday person. He said, hell no. Nah. Look at them gas prices. They ain't comfortable to me. Hell no. Nah. Joe Biden says that we're in, we're in a strong economy, that we're doing great. Do you believe that? No. Ain't no comfortability around nowhere. It really hurts America with the gas prices because... The one, we have to get to work. And if we can't get to work and we got to spend all our money on gas, that we going to work on, that mean you can't pay your bills. So it's an endless circle of uh, endless debt. Everybody going to mm. go in debt, you know, sooner or later, because it, like what's happening now is everybody is feeling the heat from, you know, every angle of the society. So, yeah, I feel like, no, it's not true. It's, it's bullshit. Bullshit completely because, like, Rent prices is crazy. We 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 paying I don't know how much percent more, but I would say at least three, three or four hundred more than we was paying two years ago. Like that's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Salaries aren't going up, so how right. are you supposed to make the difference? Hell, not going up. Rent? It doesn't make sense. So when the Biden administration comes forward and says that economically and financially our country is doing really well, do you think that's a lie? Yeah, I think they're blowing smoke up up out behind us. I think it's Biden's fault. Trump said it would happen. Like, we would deal with a lot of the stuff that we did dealing with back when we had the Great Depression. We were not financially stable, comfortable, or nothing like that. But when Trump was in office, 
I was feeling really good. Really? Yes, Trump, Trump. So oh. <laughs> Joe Biden's too much, you'd rather have Trump back? I want Trump back. I do not, I'm not for Biden. I'm not for him. Did you vote for Joe Biden? No. No? I didn't. Did you vote at all in this last election? No. No? You don't want to vote, <laughs> but now that you could have a choice between Trump or Biden, you would choose? I would choose Donald Trump because he's, he's about making money. And, you know, he's for, like, independent businesses and stuff like that. I miss that. I wonder at this point how many people think of the same thing too, oh, especially man. people that voted, whoever you voted for. I wonder how many people are like kind of regret and like, damn, I should have probably looked looked into the other side a little bit more just to see exactly what it was, rather than kind of standing my standing that same headspace as far as like voting for one particular party. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I feel like we've come across like a, a good of a, like a good chunk of people that we've kind of talked to just. It's you know, in, in, in a general passing that have had opinions about these exact statements, actually, in, in a sense, just kind of like, you know, had they known what they knew now or what they've seen now, they would have never voted, you know, the way that they did. Or they 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 wish they would have probably like educated themselves a little bit more before voting or not voting at all. Like they didn't vote because they weren't sure or they didn't know which one was better. So they didn't vote. So, I mean, like, yeah. everybody, I think, has, like, their own, you know, <laughs> thing that they probably have to deal with now in terms of, like, voting. But, I mean, at this point, I, I feel like there's a lot of, uh, you know, re-examining that people have to have to do in terms of, like, this next election and really, really dig down deep and be honest with themselves on how they truly, truly feel about what all has taken place in, you know, at, at that point, these last two and a half to three years that will be coming up on real soon in the presidency. You know what I mean? So and I see, know, it's interesting to watch this. And these are people from Dallas. Like this is your urban neighborhood. These are, these are, they right down the street, y'all. And somebody else that I was kind of like talking to, he made a great point too. That kind of, kind of sparked something, sparked something in my mind a, a moment ago when he the was talking rent. about like debt and the rent. Okay, you're saying we're in a better economic position right now, but I'm like, okay, with the gas prices almost been doubled, no matter where you're at, you know, you have people, yeah, people that that try to, that, that are like owner operators to their own, like you know, 16, 18 wheelers, whatever you want to call it, yeah, 18 wheelers, they can't even get, they, they can't even get on the road because it's so expensive for gas. I heard someone tell me it costs them three thousand dollars to fill up a diesel truck. That is that. There's no way. You understand what I'm There's saying? There's just no way. And, like, and, 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 so, and so my thing is like, people are in less debt. I don't I don't really see how people are in less debt because eventually people are going to get into more debt. You're going to start, start seeing people taking out more of them payday loans. Yeah, because you're Going to get paying, personal loans to try to, pay, to try to offset right. the economy, the inflation of everything. You're paying more out of your own paycheck to live than you are giving it. Because you, like you said, salaries are not increasing. What? You get your, your, your you know... Four thousand, five thousand bonus at the end of the year, and then and then what? I mean, they take taxes out of that, hey, you know. Like, hey, you talking to some people? That's like what, what bonus? <laughs> right, <laughs> that's. <laughs> hey, that's you all, okay. There ain't no, that, that ain't none of that coming. My, well, I, my was only eight hundred dollars. Like, mean? what you mean? Shit, Shoot, some people not even gonna get that. I'm just saying, yeah. Daddy T, Trump. I mean, it's Daddy T for <laughs> real. I mean, like, I respect him because he was real about his opinion, even though I didn't always agree with him, but. He kept it real with us. We know what it what was gonna happen. Like things was better. Like the economy was better. Trump for the culture. For the culture? Yeah, he's for the culture. He just misunderstood. He kind of like a Kanye, but you know, he, he may say stuff the wrong way sometimes or have the wrong approach, the wrong wordplay. But I mean, he mean well as a collective, as a people. You know what I'm saying? He cares. You know. Who's a better president for America, Joe Biden or Donald Trump? I feel like Donald Trump because I mean that his whole slogan is make America great again no matter how we have to basically so yeah Donald Trump all right y'all so every single time I come out and I do these videos it's not my intention to make it a Trump versus Biden thing but all of the responses always call for Trump to be back in office and for Biden to get out because people cannot handle the economic and financial hardships of this administration I like this interview a lot. Now, I'm not going to say I, I like it and I love it because they came to Dallas, Texas. But again, like I, I tell you all the time, I, I like these type of interviews that kind of go, go go right into the heart 
of America and, and actually can like talk to people. And, and like I said, you're not talking to probably like the most educated people that, that know every single thing that's going on with policy and things like that. But you're talking to people that, that, that feel the pulse of what's going on every day. Yeah. The everyday working person that, yeah. has, that has to go to the gas pumps and see what the prices are. You got these people, you know, people out there that, that's working every day that's not necessarily getting that, uh, that that's huge so salary, yeah. salary increase so that they can, uh, pay for, the, the increase in debt that's, that's coming your way, especially the way that the economy is going right now. I, 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 I don't know where those, where these numbers are coming from, but my thing is I'm not even worried about nobody trying to compare us to saying that our economy is going to be the best since the better than China since 1976. All I'm worried about is America and Americans and, and how we're going to make ourselves better, not how we rank up against another nation or yeah. where we fall because I feel like that's just blowing smoke up your tail. Yeah. To try to say, oh, we're doing better than these people. No. We need to be doing better than what we were doing in last general, year. Everybody should be doing. You know what? And what's that's crazy about thing. that? I mean, because it, it just going it's back crazy. to the whole rent situation. I just feel like that's that's a big deal for some people because <clears throat> hell, we've been in that in that situation where it's just like we literally have to plan our paycheck on how on what week we get, we're getting groceries. Like, can we get this much groceries this paycheck and, and maybe yeah. this amount of groceries on this paycheck? So for people who have to go up two or three or four hundred dollars a month on rent, like mm -hmm. that's a big deal. Yeah. You know what I mean? For some people, that's, that's the difference in, 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 in possibly being homeless, possibly. Absolutely. The $200. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it'll the make a big bump. Especially for the people who live paycheck to paycheck. I mean, and because we, we were those people at some point, like for a long time. So, yeah. so we know exactly what that feels like. And for people to say that they don't, you know, don't feel any 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 increase in debt. Like I mean, you better believe. Like at that point, it's just a matter of having to use credit cards because I need at least a hundred dollars to get the gas to the next paycheck. You know what I mean? So. But but see but see but see that shows the disparity between the White House or people in the White House and people on on on, on you know people that they got they. Feet in the boots and their and, and their feet are on the ground. Like yeah. people that got boots, you know what I mean? Like yeah. the people that are on the ground actually like working every day. Like that's the disparity. Like you have people in the White House saying, "Oh, everything is good, everything is going great." But if you go and talk to the everyday person, that's what I'm saying. Right. Like it's going to be a completely different story. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, I feel that. That's why really I was like when on? he said that, I was like, "Shoot, I feel him on that. Yeah. I, I know what that's like. I can remember us." Shoot. <laughs> My cousin, she had to, uh, uh, she had to move out of her place because the rent was so high, and, and move back in with her, with her, with her mother. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Because the rent's so high, yeah. And gas. So, like I said, I, I don't see it getting better when, when I start seeing things around me kind of like this transpire. You know, two years mm -hmm. ago, uh, so some people were like in their in their own house, rent, rent, you know, rent, you know, paying their own rent, and and now it's like some people got to make different decisions based on the inflation of things. So right. I, I don't, I don't really see how we're in a better economic uh, situation right now, but. Like I ask all the time, y'all, how we gonna fix this? I mean, because we gotta come up with a solution. Cause I, 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 I just see it tanking more and more. It, it's definitely tanking. It's just, yeah, yeah. Like, I, and like I said before, the amount of time it takes us to get to this point, how much more time is it gonna take for us to get back to at least where we were to to match that, if, if not better, you know? Mm -hmm. So, so we're going in the wrong direction. I feel we're going in the wrong direction. Right. You feel like we're going in the wrong direction? I do. Okay. I do. Hey, so, what y'all think? Yeah. <laughs> If y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that notification bell. Join the family. And if ain't nobody else told you, love I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video. Yeah. Better believe it. Yeah. Bye.